Hello, my most amazing artists, and welcome back to art class. For this week's project, we are going to be making these winter birch trees. I'm going to be showing you how to make them um, using some tape and some watercolor paints. But if you do not have those materials available at home to you, this can always be accomplished with just some basic drawing where you can just draw out your trees, make sure you leave them white like your paper, and then you can always color in the background and add the little notches and stuff like that. But I am going to show you how to do this with some tape and some watercolor paper. So to get started, you're going to make sure that you're holding your paper horizontally. And the best tape to use for this project is blue painter's tape um, because it comes off easily and doesn't really damage your paper because that's the trick here is that we don't really want to damage our paper. But if you do not have blue painter's tape, don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy any. If you just have regular old masking tape, that will work fine as well. Um, I would only say blue painter's tape or masking tape though because any other tape will not easily peel off of your paper without taking a little bit of it with it. If it does, that's not a big deal, but you definitely don't want to use anything like duct tape or masking tape because it, or I mean, not masking tape, um, scotch tape, like clear scotch tape. You don't want to use that because it's just going to rip your paper in half. So um, if you are using just regular masking tape though, you are going to, when you rip off your pieces, stick it like kind of stick it to your clothes a few times to make it a little less sticky and then that way it won't stick to your paper as much. It'll stick as much as you need it to but then it'll peel off without uh, harming your paper. So I stuck it to my sweater a few times and I am going to create three trees. So I am going to put my masking tape on my paper, press it down and anything extra that I have I am simply going to fold over the back of my paper. So I have one tree there and I'm going to repeat the same thing, adding two more trees to my paper. Alright, so I have my three tree trunks and now I need to add some branches. So I'm going to work with some smaller pieces of tape. I'm just going to rip off a little piece here, stick it to myself a few times so it's not super duper sticky. And actually the fun way to make tree branches, I'm actually going to take this piece and I'm going to rip it in half. Now listen, when you're ripping, you can have an adult help you with this if you want, but you're just pinching. You're just using your pointer finger and your thumb and you rip. All right. I'm going to stick one of these to my desk and to make um, easy tree branches, it's actually a little sticky, so I'm going to stick that there. All right. To make fun tree branches, if you take your piece of tape and you hold it, so instead of ripping it sideways, you're actually going to turn it. And if you rip it like that, it'll start to change its shape. Like it'll be a little thicker on the bottom and a little thinner on the top. And that actually makes a perfect tree branch. Now I have this piece still here. I can take this piece and I can just kind of rip it into these random shapes. And I can use these as some of my tree branches. This one's going to be a little long at the top. All right. And you want to stagger your tree branches a little bit. You don't want to put them all on top of each other. Just kind of want to spread them out a little bit. You can see here, sometimes I had a bigger piece and I attached a smaller piece to it there. So, and then this one just had some more toward the top instead of the bottom. So it's up to you and you can take your tape and add some more tree branches. And I've got a pretty good set of branches here. Now comes the part where I am going to use my paints. 
So again, um, I wouldn't do this. This could probably work with some regular paint too, but I would definitely use watercolor paints if you have those. And I'm only going to stick with some of my cool colors, so just some blues and some purples. This one I did put a little magenta in there if you want, but you want to stick with ma mainly blues and purples. So I'm going to grab myself a good brush that will work with watercolors here. And I'm going to wet my brush, put a little blue on my brush. And the best part about this project is that the tape is protecting your paper. So I can start swirling my blues around and I can get right up there, right next to that tape. Now it might go under your tape a little bit and that is perfectly okay. But you can paint right on top of your trees. So I am going to fill in my paper with some swirls of blue and purple. you're going to let it dry. Now that my painting is dry, I am going to very carefully peel all of the tape off of my project. Since my branches are on top of these big pieces of tape, some of them might lift with that, but I'm going to start with this branch here. I'm going to peel the part from behind and I'm going to very carefully peel it off my paper. Now, some of my paper is coming off with my tape and that's okay. That's not a big deal. So you are going to just very carefully peel away all of your tape and if a little bit of it comes off of your paper, that's okay. You're going to notice that all the parts where we put the tape down are nice and white and pop out against our blues and our purples that we made for our background. My paper, all of my tape peeled off of my paper, and the only thing left for me to do is I am going to take either a black or a gray crayon and I'm going to add some of these little marks that you would see on a birch tree. Uh, usually, I like to do a big one with like a smaller one underneath it and just kind of stagger them around your trees to help make them look more like a birch tree. And that's it. That's how you create your winter birch trees. Now remember, I did this with tape and watercolor paint, and if you do not have that accessible to you, that's okay. You can simply take a pencil, draw out your trees and your tree branches, and then just color around them, all right? So if you do not have paint and tape accessible to you, you can simply draw three birch trees. Make sure you leave them white, do not color them. Just add these little gray or black, works too, notches to them and just color your background with blues and purples. And then make sure that you send me a picture of your completed artworks so I can see them. And I can't wait to see your completed winter birch trees. And I'll see you guys again next time for art class. Bye.